Hello everyone and welcome to week uh, week five recap of the North American LCS. Uh, this past week was very interesting. We had a lot of big games that I was talking about last week and it was exciting to see some of them come out. We had some big upsets. Golden Guardians is coming up on those bottom teams and just killing it and yeah so we'll just get right into it. So the, in first place, we got Echo Fox. So this weekend they went 2-0, so they had their first game against 100 Thieves, which 100 Thieves is still looking rough. Uh, they were just going on a downwards trend. They're now 5-5, five and five, so this isn't a big win for Echo Fox or anything, but their big game was on Sunday against Cloud9, where they had a struggling... So they were supposed... If they were supposed to win laning phase, and if they didn't, it would have been very difficult. So Echo Fox was able to have a few turnaround kills on Licorice, who was playing Lucian against uh, Huni's Gangplank. Uh, so that was obviously interesting. But uh, yeah, that's about all I gotta say about that. It was a good game, but Echo Fox was just the better team on Sunday. Moving on to Cloud9, who's in sole second place, going eight and two. Uh, they played TSM on Saturday, which was actually a pretty close game. TSM looked better than usual, and Cloud9 looked a little confused sometimes of what to exactly do. And uh, just a few lucky mid-game team fights for Cloud9 brought it the other way. And I say lucky because like Ezreal hitting Bjergsen backing, and then one other fight really kind of turned the tides. And especially Svenskeren's turnaround on the gank top lane where they were diving. Licorice uh, was another big one where it was extremely close. So if it would have went a different way, it would have been a way different outcome. So that's why I say lucky there. And then second day, obviously, was their game versus Echo Fox, where they put Licorice on Lucian, and it struggled a little bit, as well as just the team not playing as well as Echo Fox did. So Cloud9 should have a lot to learn from that game, and we should see a lot of improvement. But these teams are definitely the top two teams in the league right now. Because in third place, we have Team Liquid, who has dropped down to six wins and four losses. So on Saturday, Team Liquid played CLG. Um, this was another good game. CLG showed some promise uh, in their early game. But it was just overall win. Uh, Doublelift played extremely well. Doublelift still, I think, might be the leader in the least deaths category of this spring season. So that's exciting. And... Yeah, Impact looking definitely rough this weekend, especially in their game against um, Golden Guardians this Sunday. Um, it just was not what you would expect from Impact, especially playing his tanks. I think he went back to tanks this weekend compared to uh, where he, we have seen him go a little AD sometimes uh, on the AD carry type like the Bruisers, but... Overall, it just was not a good weekend for Team Liquid. Uh, they are definitely not looking as dominant as they were in the first few weeks. However, this is exactly what we expected coming into the split. Uh, we had extremely talented people on the Team Liquid roster, and they have played in different facets before. However, we were worried about their how progressive they were in their practice, and it's not looking too good right now. Doublelift is definitely vocal about that, and the rest of the team is just kind of laying low. Uh, but Pole Belter for MVP is definitely a struggling idea right now. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, Team Liquid just not looking too hot right now. They're, I think they're lucky to be in third place, to be honest. Moving on to Clutch Gaming. Surprising week for Clutch, for sure. So a good victory against uh, FlyQuest on Saturday. Uh, and then a big win against TSM on Sunday. I want to mostly talk about the TSM game because they dominated TSM. I think it was like 11 to 1 in or 10 to 1 in kills and then 11 to 1 in turrets. So yes, big game for Clutch Gaming and now they are tied for third, which means my power rankings that I had Clutch at fourth place is right on right now. So obviously excited about that. Um, but yeah, this kind of Dark Horse team, I don't think anyone knows why they're doing so well. Um, I think Solo has definitely stayed more consistent throughout the middle pack of this season, which has created just a better environment for the team to succeed overall in their games. So if Forbidden and Apollo can carry as they have been, I think they can keep going and stick to third or fourth place. I don't see them taking down Cloud9 or Echo Fox since they're on such kind of an elite level in North America right now, but yeah. They're just looking pretty good.
Definitely third, fourth place team. Moving on, 100 Thieves. They are now 5-5 five and five in sole position of fifth place. And they had a rough weekend, for sure. So Echo Fox lost. I think everyone was just assuming that. Uh, Dardox looking better than Medios. Some days looking better than... Uh, what the heck? Yep. So, Huni's looking better than Sunday. And then the bot lane, Phoenix... Or the mid lane, Phoenix is looking better than Ryu. Just... What I'm trying to say is 100 Thieves is looking extremely mediocre. They probably, ex well, I expected them to be right splat in the middle, maybe a little lower. There's no, they don't really have star power on the team. Sunday's not looking as strong as he used to. And he actually released in an interview, I think it was with Travis uh, <clears throat> Gafford Esports, that you can't expect Sunday to carry it in the way the team is being like taught right now. So maybe Crawley, their head coach for 100 Thieves, has to figure out a new strategy because they're definitely falling off right now. Moving on. Oh, and then Sunday they had a very close victory over CLG. Um, yeah, this is just a long, messy game. Did not make North America look very good in this game. And yeah, just CLG looking rough, 100 Thieves looking rough. If I could pick 100 Thieves over CLG, I don't even know. It'd be a toss-up. They The whole bottom half of the standings pretty much just suck. Uh, it's really showing... The, the new teams, uh, how many teams have new players on them, just because of how rough these games are going. You can see that there are so many correctable things going on in every game that it's hard to fix, I assume, just because there's so many things wrong. So hopefully at, by the end of the split, we can get a good winner to go to MSI at for the first international competition of the year. So, yes, moving on to FlyQuest. FlyQuest is looking... Still a little hot. I'm liking FlyQuest. Um, even though they didn't have the strongest week, uh, they lost against a rising Clutch Gaming. Uh, they just couldn't really get going. Wild Turtle's still looking good. Uh, and Onda's still looking good in the jungle. But other than that, they're just looking extremely average. And then their victory over Optic Gaming was a super close one. And yeah, it was pretty crazy. It got down to like the last few hits on the Nexus. And... Yeah, if you missed the FlyQuest versus Opti Gaming, which is the last, uh, the last game of the season, or the last game of, on Sunday, you should definitely check it out. Moving on to TSM, tied for 6th place. They are 4-6. and six. They had a tight game versus Cloud9 and then got stomped versus Clutch Gaming. Not too much to talk about with this TSM team anymore. Nobody cares about them. They kind of suck. And they're not fun to watch. So, yeah. I don't know too much to talk about TSM. We might touch a little bit more next uh, next week on them. Because Sven and Mithy are just... The late game carries that they're trying to be is not what TSM needs right now. They need some proactivity, which Mike Young is not giving. He Mike Young has the second most deaths in the league. And, yeah, also, Jet, Jet stats, if you check out the pregame, like the NALCS countdown before it starts on Saturday and Sunday... Uh, Jat talked about that TSM has the most time, like the most minutes, this season in the lead. So that means that they're just sitting there with their extra farm that they little that they belittly build up, and then they don't do anything with it. They just kind of stagnate and sit mid and don't really do anything. So that is not good, but it shows the TSM problem that they have very good laners. Excuse me. But they don't know how to transition it to the mid and late game and figure out how to team fight, how to push their advantage. That's all I got about TSM. I'm done about them. Optic Gaming still looking rough. Power of Evil and Arrow are doing their best to carry this team. Zig is actually looking a little hotter, but Optic has had a few close games, but they just couldn't pull them out. Um, they did win this past season or this past Saturday. However, they're just not looking too great. So. Yeah, Optic. Optic is a weird team too. Optic is just like TSM for me. They're just kind of long, boring games that are hard to watch and hard for not a prof or like a non-professional analyst to kind of figure out. Moving on to CLG, they are three and seven, and they are tied for eighth place with Optic Gaming. They are on definitely a downward trend. I think they're getting worse and worse every week. Uh, they had their losses versus. Team Liquid and 100 Thieves this past weekend. 
and they're not getting too much done besides their early proactivity with Rainover kind of getting these games in his head and like memorizing plays they don't really do much more than that so yeah Darshan is looking a little too hypey like I said and if he gets a lead he just kind of throws it Stixe definitely had another positioning or several positioning errors these past two games this weekend so that was not good to see that return and yeah who he's just kind of constantly in the middle doing the best he can honestly biofrost not looking too bad either but just kind of looking quiet uh like some people fear of biofrost so overall biofrost might need to be a little more engage heavy stick say doesn't know where he needs to be and rain over only knows what to do in that early game that is all i got about clg moving on to golden guardians they got their second win of the season against Team Liquid, which is actually huge. So this dropped because you would have assumed that Team Liquid would be 7-3 and three at least by the end of this. Uh, or except you would assume that they were 7-3, and three, which would be one game behind Cloud9. However, with this loss against Golden Guardians, they actually dropped to tie with Clutch Gaming, one game away from 100 Thieves, and two games away from FlyQuest and TSM. So that means third... All the way through eighth place is the difference of two, one, two, or three games. So this is pretty nuts. Uh, the playoff run is going to be very intense. We could see teams like CLG, TSM, FlyQuest not making playoffs. Um, so yeah, should be very interesting. But overall, Gold Golden Guardians, Lorelo went off this past weekend. And... Yeah, Lorelo's looking hot. He looks very excited after the game, so that's just good to see, and I hope to see more wins from Golden Guardians. Uh, yes, that is all I got for this week. We'll check out... Oh, we got a big game. We got uh, Echo Fox has a... You would assume hard split, or you would assume a hard schedule, but with recent strength, it might be a little different. So Echo Fox is playing TSM and Team Liquid. So you would assume right off the bat, you think, man, that's a hard weekend. But Team Liquid's looking a little rough, and TSM's looking extremely rough. So this might be an easy 2-0 this weekend if they can't do anything. But I would like to see another Echo Fox game like TSM's this past time, where they just kind of trashed on them uh, early game, and then Echo Fox came back, because that was exciting. And yeah, the Team Liquid time, I don't think that was too much of an exciting game. I think Team Liquid just stomped. But yeah, I think what else is going to be interesting? Clutch Gaming, Cloud9. Cloud9's looking hot. If Clutch Gaming can win against Cloud9, that would be huge for morale. And TSM versus Opti Gaming. Honestly, all these games are so good. These uh, little summary of just this whole season. This has been a very close season, even though it hasn't shown very good play uh, from North America. The games have been super close, and I personally think they've been super interesting. There's been some backlash on social medias about just how boring and long the games can be, but I think they're all right, and uh, I just like how close they are and how some of the old veteran teams are kind of getting challenged this season. So yeah, I look forward to doing another video. I don't think I'm going to drop any videos this week. Don't have any good ideas. So just look forward to the recap for next week. I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul